Oi, oi, oi. How's it going? My name is the Panda Mouse, and welcome back to another horror game. Today, we are playing Unnatural Benighted. It's a gripping story of two hunters of unclean forces investigating the disappearance of people. Where have I seen this house before? Honey, I'm home. Why do we already have a scar on our head? You know what? Not gonna Something question. Something is wrong with the power. I need to check it out. Voice acting? Okay, okay. You don't always have voice acting in these games. I mean, this is the. What's it? This is the house that like everyone uses. Hello? No, we can't go in there. Can't go in there. Nicole! Nicole! Alright, you got a pretty one track game here. What is that about? I'll find you. <laughs> Sim, did you really think you could trick me? Did you think I'd just let your wife go? No. I'm not as stupid as you think. I'm holding your wife hostage, and I won't let her go until you find five artifacts for me. You can try to trick me, but I know you can't. I know that you love your wife, and you will do everything to save her. But you have to understand that I'm serious. So look for artifacts for me, and don't try to fool me. Otherwise... Your wife will stay with me forever. All right. That was a not seamless transition. Hi, Dan. My wife was kidnapped by the demon Moloch all because of an artifact of power I'm trying to find. What? How could this happen? I come home and all I found was a note from Moloch saying he took my wife as a sacrifice. That's terrible. He willing to take her in exchange for the artifact. What are you going to do? We need to find the artifact before Moloch does. I hear you, Sim. Follow me. I'm willing to help you out on this one. I know several people who can help us find your wife and defeat Moloch. Thank you, Dan. I really appreciate your help. I don't know what I will do without you. Don't worry. We have everything we need for this case. I will do anything for Nicole and our future. I promise you we'll kill the Moloch and get Nicole back. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's got it's got some like heart into it. I like it. You can tell they really wanted to go all out with this. I'm not gonna shit on it. Like it's not half bad. It's not. Go to the board, look at the evidence. Okay, we have two wanted individuals. Pretty sure we're dealing with a demon, so... I feel like we should have more than two wanted people. Uh, a friend of mine disappeared recently. He went mushrooming to the woods and didn't come back. He's been gone for three days. I told our sheriff, but he just shrugged and spread his arms, saying, This old drunk must be sleeping. Somewhere under a tree. He will come back. Very Walter. As the sheriff of the city, I want to assure all the residents that we are monitoring the situation in the woods. We have not received any evidence that there is some kind of monster that kidnaps people. We're continuing the investigation. Urge all residents to be careful and follow the safety rules in the woods. Sheriff Richard Green. 
Okay, that's the same purple light we saw. Can't click on that one. She's kind of cute. Oops. Uh, missing people in Gord News. Yep, yep. Oh, I can still churn. Okay. But I can't look at that. Oh, well. I've been living near the woods for many years and I've never seen any monster. I think it's just rumors that are spread by the locals. I work in a hotel near the woods and I've heard a lot of stories about missing people. I do not know what's going on, but I think it may be due to the fact that people do not follow the safety rules in the woods. I always advise hotels guests not to go into the woods alone and to follow the route. Are you guys wearing the same jacket? Or am I crazy? Yeah, it's just like a different color of the same jacket. Yeah. No. My sister disappeared in the woods near the hotel. We looked everywhere for her, but no trace was found. I do not know what's going on, but I'm sure it can't be an accident. I've heard that some monsters might be the cause of the disappearances. I hope someone finds my sister and brings her back to us. I've heard that people are disappearing in the woods near the hotel. Some say that this is because of a monster that lives in the woods. I do not know how true this is, but I would not risk going into the woods alone. It's best to stay safe and not put yourself in danger. That's, yeah, that's, that's something. It's definitely light. You know, with demons or, oh my God, we just fell off the board. <laughs> Sim is waiting for you in the car. All right, Sim, I'm coming. Yeah, I'm fast. I'll be there in a second. Yo, that's a car. Why would I need a car, dude? You see how fast I am? Oh yeah, let's check out this guy's apartment right here. I know he's trying to sleep, but it's time for you to wake up. Oh, you're a drunk. What's good? Elia Trishetsiak? Trishetsiak? Dark House. Is that a reference? Maybe. Maybe they made another game. I don't know. Let me out. Please. I shouldn't be back here. Here we go. Eco 39. Dang, he's caked up. Alright, I think that does it for secrets. I want to say that was like a reference to like other things that they've made. Alright, let's see. Is it a cutscene or are you going to let me drive? Time coming. It's time to go. Let's oh. go. You are going to let me drive. You know, it's not bad. I was kind of thinking it was going to be a little there wonky. Any information or leads that may be useful in our case. There are some people missing in the woods nearby. According to the locals, they saw some kind of flesh in the sky. Maybe it has something to do with the artifact we're looking for. Maybe. We shall check it out. Let's find out. I like it. The voice acting is timed very well with the objective <laughs> just teleport out what kind of gun is that that's kind of cool looking you know it's not a bad looking gun it's not it's not at all you get like a little pinky a pinky rest where the magazine goes in so that way your hand doesn't slip off some grooves I feel like that trigger is like really heavy and this does seem like a beefy gun. It's probably a 45. Honestly, it just looks too heavy. And it looks too heavy for like an everyday carry. It's like something you would take out to have fun with. All right, well, I guess we're going this way. Look, footprints. Someone's been here. They oh. are not human. 100% they're not human. Look at those. Sim, did you see that? There is definitely something here. It shall be a campground nearby. Maybe we'll find something there. I don't have anything. Why do you have a gun? <laughs> Wait. Why don't I have a gun? Alright, I guess I'm just gonna throw hands with demons. Oh well. Let's get it. Running the camp of the missing tourists. Okay, this must be where the missing tourists are. Dan, blood! There might be survivors nearby. Let's search the area. 
Oh. You put your right hand down twice. Instead of a right and a left hand, you just put your right hand down twice. Interesting. The first day of excavation of an abandoned old church, they found an old cross about the 18th century and some kitchen utensils. Ellie says there's hardly anything of value to be found here. Okay. Oh! Is that Ellie? There's nothing but tortured bodies. What were they doing here? Did he say tortured? Or something else? Shotgun ammo. A hundred? <laughs> I went from 12 to a hundred? What? Bro, what's going on here? Relax. Ellie brought me a pickaxe. Let's try to reactivate this tunnel. I hope we can do it. Nah, you guys were doing things you shouldn't have been doing. See, that's on you. Woo. A push a shotgun? Push a shotgun? Pump action shotgun? Is that what you're trying to tell me? The shotgun you gave me and the shotgun you're showing on screen are two different shotguns. I just want you to know that. I know that. I know you probably know that. Tomorrow we will go to the old mine. It's not known by whom it was dug, but I'm already wondering what is inside. Yeah, you guys shouldn't have been stomping around. I hear strange noises at night. Yeah. <laughs> 200. <laughs> 200. Something about that doesn't sound right to me. Why did I put my shotgun away? You know what? Oh, well. Follow him. Follow him. He's running into the tunnel. Why don't I just shoot him? Oh my god, he's fast. I thought I was fast. Hold on. Pull out my shotgun. They knew I would shoot him. That's why they didn't let me have my shotgun. Oh, you're slow. Come on. Do you not know how to run? Your gun is lighter than mine. Seems like I can't equip my shotgun. And if you click on anything, it doesn't it doesn't let you tab out of the inventory no more. Oh my god. Are you okay? It'll do. He was around here somewhere. <laughs> what? Did he just jump me and then run? You didn't even shoot him? You just let him jump me? Another shotgun? What, in case I didn't grab the first one? I have 400 bullets. I gotta reload. Hold on, cover me. Oh, this ain't fair. Hold on. This ain't fair. He boxed me up. Hold on. Oh, I got health regen. We're good. We're good. We're good. Hold on. He's boxing me up. Let's get him stuck on some trees. Yeah, there we go. There we go. What's his name? Wolfhound? Yeah, shoot him. Good idea. We can hit him right here. <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> this is how you do it. Where'd he go? You know, I kind of like the reload animation. I know it doesn't reload as many bullets as you, you have, but honestly, I don't mind that. Cause I don't want to sit there and watch him do eight bullets into the mag. Or I guess it's not a magazine on a shotgun. It's a, it's a tube. Dude, you wanted me to do this legit? How? Hold on, do I do more damage? Have I just been missing a lot of pellets? I do do more damage. I was missing some pellets. Light work. Looks like it's part of the artifact we are looking for. So, how many are there? I don't know. Let's go to the car. 
Is is it dying? Is it still dying? What is that noise? What is going on? I don't like it. Make it stop. Dan, cops. I'll handle this. Yeah, we got a shotgun. <laughs> That is a zombie on the stretcher. That's not even a body. That's a zombie. Good, we finished that thing. Now we have time to relax after that forest run. Yeah, that's great. Time to have some rest and take a shower. Any news from your father, Robbie? Did he find a weapon against the demon or one of the artifacts? No news yet. But he's just about to call. We'll just wait. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I, you know what? I'm invested. His wife is missing. We're playing as the other character now. I guess you're gonna go take a shower. I'm gonna be left out here by myself. Someone's gonna knock on the door, maybe? Or is there a second bathroom? Yo, open up. I wanna see what you look like taking a shower. Open up. No. I guess not. There it is. Sim, Sim, it's a Ruby. I'm coming. Hey, Goonies. Something strange is going on here. What do you mean? I have some progress on our case. And now I need your help. Come to Maine. What? What the hell is that? It's coming. It's coming. Hello? Ruby? Hello? What's up with Robbie? Tim, we have some serious problems. We need to head out. What? You have sandals on. <laughs> You're in the bathroom. You don't need sandals in the bathroom. You're not going to a beach. Dan, do you see it? The hell is this thing in the sky? Looks pretty weird and doesn't bode well for us. Ooh. What happened to all my ammo? I had so much ammo, what happened to it? I only have one at a time. All right. What is that on my back? I don't know what that is. Ooh, someone's activated the mystery box. Ooh, some ammo. Yeah? Hold on. What are those things? There we so go. Are zombies, then. Kill them. We need to find Ruby fast. Is there a headshot multiplayer? Oh, there definitely is. Since it was just kind of crazy, that's all. Oh, I didn't know I could shoot you. My bad. This would be fun as a multiplayer game. Up the difficulty though, but other than that, it'd be fun. Oh, what's up, buddy? Oh, it's <laughs> instant revive. <laughs> okay. I don't even gotta worry about if I got time to revive you or not. I just revive you. Alright, noted. 
Damn, this this must be like a. It's look like they've turned. Or a neighborhood or something. Why there's so many people in this neighborhood? There's not even that many houses. It's like every house has like ten people in it. So you suck, bro. You were missing all your shots. Dang. What is this a Lambo? Yo, can we just take this? Can we upgrade? I guess a muscle car is more badass. Like if you had to choose between someone who drives a Lambo and someone who drives like a Dodge Challenger <laughs> to like defend you in a zombie apocalypse, you're most likely gonna pick the guy with the with the Dodge Challenger. The guy with the Lambo you're just gonna assume has never done any hard work in his life. What's up? Where have you been, morons? I've been Anchor. waiting ages for you. What's going on here? I was tracking down a powerful necromancer who might have an artifact oh. as we need. He's in a church on the outskirts. I was just going here and then it all started. How can we get there? The shortest way is through the park, but it's crawling with zombies. We are short on time. No but shot, you, you went down. Who knows what else he can do? Is that a silencer on it? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Is it silenced? I don't want to shoot you, man. Alright, hold on. Just pull it. There's no reason I had the handgun out. I'd be way less cautious with my shots with a 30 round mag than a 12 round mag. Gun do you have? Oh right, you have an assault rifle. What are you guys shooting at? Oh. I was like, what the heck? Y'all are going crazy on that grass. Yeah, I got I got a crazy amount of ammo. Now what are you guys shooting? There you go. Let's keep it trucking. Honestly, starting to seem like the shotgun is, is not one? the choice. I see. Move your ass. There may be more zombies near you. I guess you can't blow that one up. Are they expecting me to do that for every kill? <laughs> Probably. Why do I put my gun away to pick up ammo? Don't shoot me! Oh my god, there's friendly fire. They could kill me. them up and make our way inside the park. Great idea, dime me. <laughs> it's Watch like one it. of the most like Is everyone okay? one of the most underwhelming explosions I've ever seen. <laughs> I like it though, I like it, I like it. Like there's enough zombies to like make it fun.
Get your own. Oh, there you are. Is that all of them? Are they all dead? Huh? Was there no reason to be over here? Yeah, probably not. Uh, where's where's the other guy? Hold on, did he go down again? Oh, there he is. I was like, where'd you go, dude? Oh, was that a checkpoint? I thought it would trigger a cutscene. Look, they are different. That's the work of a necromancer. We must stop him quickly. Oh my god. Oh my god, what's wrong with you guys? Oh my god, they run! Help! I'm about to die! See, it was in the bush. It wasn't even dead. Why is his leg spinning? Oh my god, his leg still hurts me? How we doing, boys? We doing good? Remember, swapping your secondary is always faster than reloading. Oh, I'm like, what is killing me? And then it's my teammates. <laughs> It. Stop shooting me. Can I get boxed up? Come here. Doesn't even work. It doesn't even do anything. It's pointless. Alright, who's next? Oh, you guys just teleported. <laughs> Kind of scared me a little bit. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I guess this is the last load that I have. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Life, unconscious though. I'll deal with him. Cover me. You shall serve the dark. My God, it took so much damage there. <laughs> Not in this lifetime. <laughs> oh, get up. Where you go? There you are. Come here.
Why are you getting in my way? Bro, stop walking in front of my bullets. Oh, pull, pull the shotgun out. Oh my god, dude. He's alive. Unconscious old. I'll deal with him. Cover me. Pull on my shotgun. There we go. Where you can spawn? Freaking coward, come here. Yeah, there's definitely boss weapons and there's definitely like mob weapons. God, get off my back. Alright, check for the little mob guys. They're not here. Cool. Get out of my way. I feel like I'm doing reduced damage for some reason. How fast do you reload on this? Honestly, this might be the DPS weapon. Wait, why are you up? Shouldn't you be dead? Yeah, I swear you went down. Your body should be on the floor. Yeah, you're literally you're supposed to be unconscious. <laughs> why are you here? to hell you son of a bitch I couldn't even see the boss for a minute but everything cool how are you then I have a life but I've had better hey Davis what are we gonna do about the artifact it's got a lot of power We'll keep it safe and Moloch won't be able to get to it. We need to find a weapon to finish off Moloch. I think we need to prepare for this meeting. I'm on it. I heard a demon has a weapon against Moloch. It's an insane weapon that can kill anyone. You know, I was just on his trail when this world zombies and necromancer scene started. Fine, Robbie. I'm glad he put a bullet between his eyes. In the meantime, we're gonna kill as many of these things as we can and find the altar fox and get Nicole back. Seems this demon will definitely appear here. Robbie said that he will definitely show up and he has a proposition for us. What? ...that he has a weapon that we need when we meet Moloch. I don't like this. And what the hell does he want with us? Hello, boys. Sim, don't move! 
Chill out, big guy. I'm here on business. I got what you want and information. What kind of information? On this farm, I can send the artifact you are looking for. And the weapon you are looking for, you will find at the entrance. It my little gift to you. Where's the guarantees it's not a trap? There are no guarantees in our business. Cool. Got some machine gun. Get that revolver. Yeah, that's really all I need. Sim, do you think it's a trap? It's here. And how is this revolver different from a normal revolver? We'll have to Let's try it out. Here. Then look at the corpse. We'll do something like this. Then the artifact is there. Fork marks. It's got to be There's one of the lot locals. Of locals near it. It's a cult. We have it. to deal with all sons in the street. Slow mo until I had slow mo. Like, look at this. What reason do I have slow mo? Evil creatures. Oh, well, this is what slow-mo is good for. These mobs. They're in the mount. Damn, this is nice. I mean, it makes the game a little too easy. But oh well. There we go. I'm just busting through these guys, man. That's what slow -mo's good for. These fucking guys right here, dude. Oh my god. These guys are so damn annoying. I see you. I know you're coming. Yeah. It's slick. Then the scarecrow comes to life. What a number. Oh my god, it's kind of OP. I could regem stamina normally. Oh no, you teleport though. Does every artifact have cultists? Move, dude.
can hit me from down there. Uh. Doesn't seem like I can kill him. At least I can regen health up there, though. Understand why you're taking damage sometimes, but not all the times. Oh, I did see his health go down. I guess headshots don't do anything? Seems like I bugged them out. Perfect. Oh no! Oh no! I've made a mistake! I don't know, if I had like an actual second player, I feel like this is doable. You could just like take aggro from one another every now and then. Dude, what am I supposed to do if he keeps teleporting on me? Nah, let me get that. Oh, you bitch. I needed that. I needed that. I'll take that artifact. We now we have a weapon against Moloch and the, all the artifacts. I can't wait to finish him off. The main thing is to keep Nicole alive. Cal pistol and so Doris, you found all the artifacts and weapons against Moloch. That was easy. Now comes the hard part. The demon told me where Moloch will be. We need to set a trap for him. I found a plan of the area. It's near an abandoned church. There's a creep there. We're gonna get in there. We're gonna take this thing down. But we have to be careful in the neighborhood. This might be yours. I don't trust that demon. Yeah, it might be a one-way ticket, but we have to risk it for Nicole. I agree. The important is that we have a trump card in hand. Why are we waiting on cars? Yeah, why are we waiting? Let's go to the final battle. Let's them up. Yeah, let's get it. Can I get that AK? Can I get that? Nah? Alright, whatever. I didn't want an AK anyways. Get in the car. Hurry up, see I'm not in the car. Hurry up and save Nicole. Think about not dying out there. This is not the garage we exited out of. What is this? Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what kind of car I'm driving. I want to say it, it is a Dodge Challenger. Question mark? I don't know. 
Get off of me. from here. No, get off of me. We're not doing this. There you go. You tell me I have no guns? You're making me do this without any guns? You know what? Whatever. You could easily move those barricades, but whatever. I'll just go without a gun. I'm sure I'll find one somewhere. There's always random guns laying around. The, the, the demons? demons scratch at your car, Dan. Is Fuck that up my car. Pay for this. No one can touch my baby. Yeah, let me get that AK. Yeah, got that AK out. All right, that must be nothing. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna kill him for scratching our Dodge Challenger. Watch it not be a Challenger. Watch it be a Camaro. I don't know anything about cars, dude. I do know about being good at video games, though, so let's get it. There's so much going on I can hear, but I can't even see. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, they got hellhounds. My cat is very needy for attention. If you see me drop any shots, it's not me. It's my cat jumping on me. Let's take him down. Look, more zombies. It's the work of Moloch. He won't be around much longer. Die. There is a lot of them here. What did you want? Disneyland for? Oh yeah, a warm welcome. The bullets are not going where it says it should be going. That's what you gotta, you gotta realize. Like it pulls to the left a little bit. Yeah, I don't see a headshot multiplier on you, so I'm not even tripping about headshots. Shotgun ammo, yeah. Get out of trouble. Nah, I don't run. I don't run. He wants the smoke. He can have the smoke. I was hoping for a shotgun. It is what it is. Oh my god, the clown just does not want to be where he belongs. He does not want to be on screen. He's shy. You know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of a uh, Twisted Metal. The clown in the ice cream truck. That's an old reference. You gotta be you gotta be an old gamer to get that one. Can I get up here? Can he hit me from up here? He can. Oh, he most definitely can. Ooh, 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 thank you. Hurry up, dude. All right, now where you at? Now you're gonna die so much faster. Come on. Oh, I grabbed the shotgun and you wanna show up no more. Yeah, cause you know what's up. Oh, look at you. 
You got trapped by your own brother, huh? Yeah. Even zombies don't like clowns. That's crazy. What is the shot pattern on this? Am I hitting where I should be hitting? It is random, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, get over here and shoot them up. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it. That's my boy right there. Oh, you finally upgraded? That's crazy. I thought he was going to run a pistol the whole campaign. No, for real, what is that? No, I can't move. I can't move. There's an invisible wall. Kill it. Oh, there we go. Did it die? No, it didn't die. Get up. Oh my god, he's gonna box me up. Please kill this thing. Is is it like invincible? Kill it. it it's just spawning new ones. No, we're out of here. We're out of here. Now we're out. I don't care. I'll, I'll do the whole boss fight with this thing chasing me. I don't care. He's just he's just replicating, <laughs> duplicating. He's just duplicating. He's cheating. <laughs> I can't go. I can't go unless I kill him. That's not fair. He's not dying. Oh, we found it. We found the cheese. Do this again. Why can't you revive him? Oh, is he dead? Uh, I just want everyone to know that that was classified as the Hell Horseman. Nowhere in here was there a single horse. Not once did we see a single horse. What if he's making that noise? Knock it off. Final boss fight? Let's get it. Hello, kids. I'm gonna kill you. Just I planned you'll be here. Seem you have something that belongs to me. Put I, I missed the cutscene. Or I kill you, Nicole, and your friends. Where's Nicole? I don't believe you. Nicole is right here waiting for you. Do as I say or face. He's got them pinned against the wall, but how? How did you Don't do it, see? Forgive me. I have to do the same. Come to your senses. Bro, you're just the same thing I from before. But you you're weaker. Done everything I planned. Now the world will be a chance. And I'm gonna lead it. <laughs> you were just the so. same thing but weaker. 
He's summoning more demons. Hang on, kid. Sim, waking him so I can kill him. Wait, why'd you not equip the AK? Hold on. Yeah, see, it still pulls to the left. It's so weird how that works. Yeah. teleport no you're just just doing some weird stuff okay you sit right there wait 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 that's cheating what do you do where do you go why the rifle out I think it has more accuracy Yeah, this one actually shoots where it's supposed to shoot. Maybe not. Could be the bloom. What's going on? What am I missing? Have I not killed everyone? Oh, here you go. Well, oh, you guys are of no help to me. Shotgun, I already have the shotgun. Where's this last zombie? Oh, there we go. This is way too many phases. Oh my god, this is way too many phases. I had fun with your Nicole. Is you just have me? no weapons against me. I just killed myself right there. Experience the full extent of my power. You think so? Pharaoh's kind of weak. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, I might run out of ammo. That's about all you got. Other than that, pretty dog. I'm pretty sure that the dogs and the zombies are supposed to be working together, but it seems like they don't like each other. <laughs> However they're set up, they're just set up not to fight together. this last zombie yet or are we just waiting on a delay were you not expecting me to kill them this fast is that what's going on I feel like that's what's going on here
Oh, no, yeah, here we go. Yeah, now come back out. Come catch his hands. <laughs> Where you at? Come catch his hands. Come on. You scared of the smoke, huh? God dang it, where are you at? There you are. You know what I want. Get up in that corner. Light work. More and you will make it. More zombies than seen. No hounds beware. Sorry, do you have a ranged attack now? Is that what's going on here? As long as I can kill you before you kill me, I think we're good. Honestly, it's not seeming like it though. How do I avoid that? Hold on, I need, I need an assault rifle out. Jesus. You have lost and now you will die. You are going to hell where you will burn with henchmen just like you. <laughs> Oh, it's a callback to the revolver, and you know when we were gonna, we didn't know what the revolver does. We were gonna figure it out. We figured it out. It's a, it's a boss killing revolver because it has a special bullet. That's a nice callback. This is just the beginning. Don't be silly. We will figure it out. She has no shoes. Who knows? What are the shoes? Why does she have no shoes? And tonight we will go in to celebrate victory. Could they not get a female voice actor? Is that what she just stands there like a mute? Alrighty, and that was Unnatural Benighted. It was a free game that I got from Keymailer. Um, I was lucky enough to have the developer send me a free copy for this. Otherwise, it's available on Steam if you want to go play it yourselves. For a like run and gun shooter boss fighter type thing, it's fun. I think it's really cool. I think if you had multiplayer on it, it would be a lot better. I think as it is right now, it's like, eh, you know, it's like, okay. But like, if you had a buddy to play with you and like, you, kind of, you, you didn't have to cheese everything because like, if you just keep running and trying to shoot, you're eventually going to die. So you kind of have to cheese this stuff to, to survive. But if it's you and a buddy you, and it's instant revive, by the way. So like, you guys could just keep reviving each other and like fighting the boss, dying and then getting revived. I think it's very fun. I think it's cool. It's cool concept, you know? I think the guns are, are good. I think they play well. Some of the stuff pulls to the left a little bit, but once you realize it, you can compensate and you can you can do pretty accurately stuff. There's no controls. I mean, I guess you could look up in settings the key binds, but I'm I guess I, I'm just not good enough to look up key bind settings. <laughs> so I have no idea. I, I'm pretty sure there's a first person to this too. It would have been cool to play some of this stuff in first person, but honestly, the third person I feel like is a lot easier to use first person kind of involves like not being able to see as much and they really do be getting in your face too uh, my only question is whether or not first person actually changes the bullets like where they spawn from because when they get in your face it's like an issue with some of these like lower grade video games that i play is like when you're doing shooters and they're right in your face is the bullets aren't coming from the gun they're coming from like a, a certain projectile spawn area which for some reason this one is like to the left 
and then it pulls to the right to then match up to where the crosshairs are eventually. I think it's zero to like it's zero to some kind of crazy range that you not you're not normally gonna hit. The assault rifle seems to be working fine, but with like the shotgun and the AK, it pulls from the left. So you have to compensate that. But uh yeah, when they get in your face, it's kinda hard to fight them. <laughs> Other than that, voice acting is I like I want to touch on it. I don't want to touch on it. Like obviously it's not great voice acting. It leagues could have been better. There's leagues better voice actors. Like even kids that are born in America could have done voice acting better. But with that being said, I mentioned kids born in America. These are some definitely like outsourced off country. I'm assuming like Russians because they have like Russian names. Um yeah, I'm assuming they're Russian voice actors. So the fact that they're doing English at all is honestly just, it's good enough, you know? You can't ask someone who was a not a native English speaker to be better at English voice acting. So it is what it is for the voice acting. Obviously, like I said, you could cast some like better voice actors in America, but like I'm assuming it's maybe the developer and their friends or something like that that, that got into the voice acting. And obviously, you know, if you make a game and you want to be a voice actor in it, go for it. It's your game. Do what you want. Otherwise, if you do want to improve it, I would say get some other voice actors out there. You can get some for cheap. There's people on Reddit that are always trying to get some portfolios built on there. They'll do it for free, and they'll probably do a better job, too. Other than that, um, there are a few bugs. I mean, it's to be expected, but it's nothing like breaking. Like, honestly, like I, I had fun playing this. I really thought it was cool fighting off some like demon bosses and whatnot, trying to get our wife back. Was that, was that our wife, right? Yeah, our wife. Trying to get our wife back. Collecting artifacts by defeating bosses. The boss fights are fun. And then they throw in, like, zombies on top of it, too. The dogs. The stuff like that. I, I think it's a really cool game. Like, I think the concepts are cool. Yeah, each boss kind of has, like, their own mechanics. Um, I would only say, like, maybe add, like, a, a dodge roll or something. It, it seems pretty hard to, like, avoid being damaged. You eventually run out of stamina if you keep running and then they catch up while you're regening stamina. So bait them into an attack so they do their attack sequence, dodge it back, and then shoot some like Remnant 2 style combat, something like that. I don't know. But I still had fun. Like I said, I, th I think the game was really cool. Um, I'm so glad that I was able to get a key for this off a key mailer for free. It was really cool. I really enjoyed the experience. Like I said, there's a little spots of improvement that could be done, but for what it is for an indie game studio, I think it was really well made and I think it was cool. I had a lot of fun. Like I said, if you could just add one thing and one thing only, make it be multiplayer. If you add multiplayer to games like this and just like throw in some more bosses or something like that, because it is kind of a fairly short game, but multiplayer, it's it's so fun with multiplayer. Any game that's like not necessarily great, add multiplayer to it, it instantly becomes like really fun to like kind of struggle like, the things that were, like, annoying is, like, if you go down once, the AI won't revive you. Could be better with multiplayer, because then your friend could revive you. It seems like it's built, like, around the concept of, like, having a friend play with you. Which, I love that. I love that in games. Especially with horror game genre, there's not enough multiplayer horror games out there that aren't just, like, your copy-and-paste asymmetrical horror games, like Alien vs. Predators. Or, no, 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 Aliens versus humans i forget whatever the one is where like someone is a is the no it's predator i think it's just called predator it's where like someone plays as a predator and they kill the humans and then you have obviously dead by daylight you have uh texas chainsaw massacre like all those asymmetric horror games out there that everyone just kept copy and pasted that's like the only multiplayer horror you're gonna get i want some like downright like scary horror games like some like not Resident Evil levels, but like maybe Outlast type, but co-op. Co-op Outlast would be fun. But obviously the more people you play with, the less scary a game becomes because like, you know, fear goes away when you're in numbers. But I, I think that's why a lot of developers aren't pushing towards it when they're doing horror games is because it's only scary if you're playing alone. But, you know, there could be fun to it. Like, it doesn't always have to be like full on horror. It could be horror scary, scary horror. It's like it's fun to laugh at your friends being scared together like it, it's what's fun about people watching youtubers like me where we play horror games and stuff and like you watch your favorite youtuber play something that's kind of spooky and you're like oh i couldn't play that myself or it's like oh um 
I just want to see other people's reactions on this game that I liked or whatever it is. Like there's so many reasons to make this content out there. Not enough developers are doing it. So if we made this game co-op, we'd be taking steps into the right direction. It'd be so much fun. And like I said, the voice acting, it's up to you. I know it's your game. If you want to add better voice acting, free for Reddit, it's out there for sure. hundred percent. If you want me to voice act someone, just let me know. Uh, I'll be down to do it. But, you know, I had a lot of fun playing this. I'm really thankful that I was able to get this copy from Key Miller. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, you know? Uh, it's not, like, amazing and rich on story, but, like, the gameplay was fun. And I had fun playing it, so I'm hoping at least that people can have fun watching it. But, as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, it means the world to me that you guys are constantly watching videos and supporting and we're growing and growing. I think we're at like 580 now and it's kind of amazing to think that like halfway through last year, six months ago, maybe six to eight months ago, somewhere around that time frame, we were like less than 200 subs. So it's, it's honestly amazing to think that. And I do believe that like subscriber growth is exponential. So it's like once we keep going and we break past a certain threshold, I think it just increases, increases faster and faster from there. Because as the views pile on and we get more subscribers, I think it becomes easier for YouTube to recognize that that people are watching the content and to recommend it to more and more people. Because right now, impressions, it'll show maybe like 150 people tops. So like of the 150 people, I probably get like maybe five, five people randomly to click on it. Sometimes we get them to say, sometimes we don't. It's a slow grind, but I love the grind. I love the, I love the playing games, dude. I love it so much. It's my favorite pastime hobby. Hopefully someday, you know, we can quit and just, you know, be a full-time gaming YouTuber with the streaming and then the content creation and all that. Uh, but thank you guys so, so much. It means the world to me for what the progress we are at now. I know we're not there yet, but I keep hoping that we're going to be someday. And I just need to put the work and effort into it. But as always, whatever time it is for you, morning, evening, night, Hope you have a great one. I love you.